My job duty is to oversee the bridge inspection program for the state of Mississippi. We only look at the bridges that's MDOT owns, which are on the U.S. highways, interstate highways, and the state routes. We have about 6,000 bridges, and I'm over the program that inspects those and makes sure they're safe for the traveling public to cross every day. The way that the inspection program in Mississippi is set up for MDOT is that we have a central office here that oversees all of it, but the, most of the inspections happen in the district. Each district has a district bridge inspection engineer that oversees the district inspection program. He has people working for him or her that do a lot of, that do most of the inspections in the state. We do contract out a few inspections to consultants for our really big or really complex bridges, but the vast majority of our inspections are done by MDOT people. Our inspectors doing a normal routine inspection every 24 months would drop a tape down at every bent which is every substructure unit. If it's concrete, is there any cracks in it? If it's steel, is it rusting or corroding or you know have problems? Is it timber? Is it soft or hollow or rotten underwater? We don't know that. So that's why the diver has to come in. Um, it, it, for example, down on the coast, and I think it's in Hancock County, the Jordan River, underneath I-10, we had to replace that bridge because of an underwater inspection found that the river had washed out the soil underneath the steel piles and they started to corrode and rust and we let a project to go in there and protect that. Well it kept on scouring out and scouring out and the steel piles eventually got to where we just had to replace the bridge. It was cheaper to replace the bridge than actually fix it and um, you know you're talking about a bridge that was only 30 years old. We had to replace it because uh, fortunately the inspectors found the problem before it was a real problem and the bridge either began to give way or collapse. What I love about my job is I get to, uh, every day, make sure that I'm keeping traveling public safe and that I can go home at night knowing that my wife and my child are safe when they travel the roads in Mississippi and across the country. Thank you for joining us. Stay tuned for new exciting content in the next episode of People of MDOT.